Hello everybody, it's Andy here from AIM Media Games and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this all inside Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let me jump into the video and I'll show you how it's achieved. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this, this and these two. I'm going to start fresh. So uh, if you go to Quixel, you can get the same material. Um, the material ID is... I believe it's this so if you type that into Quixel that should give you the same material that I'm using in this video so here's the material I've created a separate material which is an auto align so you can see here I've got two texture objects I've got a parameter set as 600 I've got a roughness set to 0 0.6 world align texture I've got a tutorial on this, um, XYZ to base and XYZ into normal. So you can screenshot that and copy. You add your base color here, your normal map here. You connect it up like this and you end up with a world aligned, positioned and normal uh, texture that you can use for things like wallpaper. Uh, you can use for things like brickwork. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you now how to model inside of Unreal. So we're going to use some sculpting to tools. So we're going to add a box. We're going to give it a subdivision on the width, depth and height of the same value, 30, 30 and 30, just to give us more faces to work with. We're going to set the height to 500 and we're going to set the width to or also around maybe 500 as well. Actually, we'll do, let's do 1000. So we have this, this big cliff wall. So we have a nice shape to work with, but this doesn't look anything like a, a cliff edge or a cliff wall. And if you want to add a little bit more detail to your scene, you can use the tools here where we have deform and we can use the dynamic sculpt tool. So let's open that up. And you can see here that we have a sphere that we can paint onto our mesh. We're going to go into sculpt normal in our brush type, I'm gonna set the size to, let's do uh, about 0.2. And all we're gonna do is drag, click and drag across the mesh to give it a little bit more of a deformity, make it look a little bit more natural rather than squared and with 90 degree edges. So we're gonna paint over our mesh. You can see here that it's pulling out the vertices it's creating new faces, so it's dynamically sculpting, similar to what you do in Blender or any other kind of uh, 3D modeling software. So we can add all of this detail onto our mesh. And once we've added that detail onto our mesh, we can then add in our texture. So now we have something that looks a little bit more how it could potentially look in in nature rather than making it look so um, squared. So we can bring the size down slightly and we could add in a little bit more detail across the bottom. Some random little sticky out bits. This will create shadows on our objects as well, which will look a little bit better in different lighting. And then we can click accept. So then we have something that looks a little bit like this, um, as opposed to originally we had something that looked like this. So you can see the difference. We've added some details to this and we have none on here. So when we add our texture onto our mesh, you can see here that this texture is aligned and if we move it, it's world aligned, so it holds its position. And then if we add it also to this one, it just looks a lot better rather than having it all straight and flat. So it gives you a, another option, another way to add a little bit more detail to your level design, your maps. Um, it's a great way to make your own custom rocks as well. And you could also add a displacement to this. So if you wanted to do form, you could also do a displacement make some small rocks, add a displace to it, and it adds like a grainy or bitty kind of effect to, 
the smooth surface to get rid of it so it doesn't look so so round and perfectly smooth um so on here now we can adjust our material so if we go into our material and open that up we can change this to something like maybe 750 you can see it increases the size and we can also as well set the roughness to one and then we end up with this kind of effect so you can see the difference straight away I'd rather have this as my detailed wall in the background than a squared edged um, block unless that's your thing so then another way we can do something as well to to improve we can copy this mesh so we can drag out move it across rotate it so we have a bigger surface to play with and then we can move that forwards slightly and then what we can do is if we were to edit this one now i'll show you so if we go to deform dynamic sculpt and let's just add a a load of changes just in the center like so and then click accept if you watch here on this other object and click accept it also changed what we've done is we've created a mirror copy of the one on the right so if we want to create a second object we need to go to x form and then we need to click duplicate this will create a an additional copy of this but with its own attributes so we're going to left click on this we're going to go to duplicate and then in here, we're just going to click accept. So now we have a separate sta uh, a separate static mesh that we can edit and alter without impacting or changing any of the attributes or the details on this one. So we can add in deform dynamic sculpt. We can increase the size, and we can add some some details across this side here, and then we could also do it here. And then click accept and then in in pretty much real time you've changed from this to this and then you can even add more sharper details like little kind of steps um if you wanted to and then you could add others detail like different materials as well and textures so i hope this helps i hope you've maybe learned something new so just to remind her as a recap you're gonna go to modeling tools you're gonna add a box cylinder anything that you want to use it's so going to add a box you're going to give it some subdivisions increase its size and its height and then you're going to go to deform dynamic sculpt change the way this looks by sculpting it yourself manually once you've sculpted it you can then add your material once you've added material you can adjust your texture size to to get the look that you want or add a different material if you want as well and if you want to make a duplicate of this, you select and highlight the object. You then drag with Alt left click. You go to X form and then click duplicate. And that will create a, sec a different instance of the same block that you can then edit and add details to. So yep, I hope this video helps. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it for any reason, then so be it. Hit that dislike button. But yeah, share it with other people um, and consider subscribing if you found this video useful at all. But thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.